want to talk to you about emergent collaboration. We'll start with the good old definition list. I am a professor, so this is how I do things. Emergent, arising as a natural or logical consequence. Collaboration, to work jointly with others or together, especially in an intellectual endeavor. That's what we're going to attempt to do today. You are now all part of an experiment. Well, an unveiling, as, as it will be, of a brand new art piece. I'm going to have to talk to my editor. They were supposed to delete that, not just strike it through and then put it there. And the editor is me, so I'm really ashamed of myself. I'm a clinical assistant professor at Purdue University. I know, Michigan fans, come on. One of the things I do is I teach electrical engineering technology. I also teach in theater. It's a good combination. <laughs> the things that I always like to do with my students, especially the engineering ones, is I like to put them in situations where they collaborate with different disciplines. They don't realize that they're collaborating because I don't tell them. I wait for it to emerge. That's actually important. You can't force collaboration. It actually makes it more uncomfortable. You got to let it go naturally. Performance art can be a collaboration between the artist on stage and the audience. Improv groups. We ask for applause to make us feel a little bit more at home up here so we don't feel all uncomfortable. Music, on the other hand, sometimes is a little bit of a one-sided activity. There, there are several artists out there, though, that do make music a collaborative process between the stage and all of you sitting out there. And that's what we're going to try and do today in this experiment. My collaborators, um, Esteban and Mel, um, both are back at Purdue University. Esteban's a graphics wizard, and Mel is a coding just god. I am a little bit of both of those things, but without them, this wouldn't happen. I am kind of the sound person. The sound guy is the one that sits in the front of the house, and as we just experienced, the one that's hopefully trying to figure out which microphone I'm on. All of the code is going to be up online, so what I want is more people to just give this a shot. None of the software or anything that we're using is really that expensive, if not free. Does it make it a little clunky? Yes, but that's the joy of it. The joy of life is imperfection. That's the part that makes it memorable. Now, there is some interaction required. You have seen that I've done probably the biggest use of paper at a TED Talk at this point. <laughs> you should all have white blank sheets of paper. It is very similar to what my mind feels right now. <laughs> we are going to hold these up and down. It's a very simple task. Your job is to hide the piece of paper or show the piece of paper. Okay. Now, if I can have all of my gear that's all right, I'll, I'll, I'll get it. Hold on. Now, imagine trying to fit this in a Honda Civic. <laughs> By the way, proper sound nerd right here. We also have a camera, so now I'm also part of a video nerdery that is new and wonderful. I am now taking all of your pictures. It's exactly like the Bureau of Motor Vehicles, except you can smile if you so choose to. Now, if I can have those lights go down and the house lights come up. Oh, there you all are. Fantastic. If I can have all of you just hold those pieces of paper up. Just hold them up a little bit for me for just a bit. We're going to switch the projector over. Welcome to Triangle Land. <laughs> this is also responding to you. We are going to slowly, hopefully not deafen you, we're going to start pulling up some music. It's generative. The computer is part of the collaborator for this exercise. The computer is going to do its best to try and randomly generate some notes and sounds 
in accordance with you raising up and down your pieces of paper. It will all be very exciting. <laughs> Just like Disney World, only cheaper. <laughs> so there's a little, there we go. There's a little bit of that. Now, go ahead and start holding your pieces of paper up. I need lots of them to go. There we go. All right. The music should be changing a little bit, and that triangle should be doing a few things as you hold them now. Now, some of you lower your paper. Now, there should be some elements now that are changing and going a little bit slower and faster. And trust me, it might not be completely readily apparent, but we will do the best we can. Okay. Go ahead and kind of just goof off. The point of this activity is a little bit of calisthenic exercise. We're going to try and move things around. There's the numbers I was looking for. At the very least, it's going to get cooler in the room. There we go. So there's, a, there's motion in the music, isn't there? And there's motion up there. You are actually affecting my performance at this moment. Up until this very moment, I had never done this with an audience. The red seats didn't do much feedback for me like you're doing right now. One of the fun things about collaboration, ooh, a little distortion too, neat. As it gets crunchy on me. Um, well done. There we go. One of the best parts about my job is the fact that I collaborate every day. And the collaboration emerges between myself, my students, my colleagues, everybody. The things that you always need to remember about collaboration, you have to all be able to accept risk. You are trusting another individual with a common goal that can be risky. The goal itself could be risky, and that's all right. The other thing is friendship. If you collaborate, you better become friends with that person. You don't have to be the bestest of friends. You just need to be some bit of friends, because things are going to get rocky. Working with my collaborators back at Purdue on this, we had ups and downs and disagreements, but we got over them because we were still friends at the end of the day. Will everyone at least agree to try and be friendly the next time they collaborate? There we go. All right, we're getting a little bit livelier. Everyone's waking up. That's good. I would really like to thank um, some collaborators that emerged while I was doing this here. For the, I lived in this theater for the last 30 hours. Eric and Justin have been fantastic. Again, I think we all became friends. They'll probably hate me once I leave, so that's okay. Um, but because of their friendliness and willing to work with me, this emerged as a successful exercise in trying to create music with all of you. What did everyone think? This is the interactive part of the show, everybody. Weird? A little bit. <laughs> what? Not weird enough. Oh. All right, fine. Next time I'm coming back, I'm going to get real weird. <laughs> All right. So everyone enjoy the rest of your day, and this is the end of the intermission.